So today I want to talk about that iconic picture of Donald Trump um, and I want to make a prediction about uh, Donald Trump a little bit later on towards the end of the show. Um, occasionally I do make predictions on this show, not always, but you know, I, I, I will f gradually start feeding out a few more predictions of what I see is going to happen in the future. But I want to come to this photograph of Trump, the one of him which was supposed to destroy him, the one that was taken of him as he was arrested. Now, they say you can read a person's destiny in the palms of their hands, of course. But you can also, they say, read uh, a person's destiny and his character, his will uh, and whatever's going on in their minds uh, from their face. And also, of course, from a photograph of their face. This is called physiognomy. OK, I think I've got that right. Physiognomy It's an ancient art. Um, it was used in ancient China. Um, for diagnosis of illness as well and about um, and they were used it within the emperor's courts to determine who could or could not be in a position of power actually it was it was used a great deal and was also used in the west here right back to the times of the ancient greeks um right back to the fifth century uh, bc there's records of it in athens um there's records of a guy called zorphorus who was the expert of this in its time but it was quoted by aristotle um, and Pythagoras talked about it, as did Socrates. So um, it's got some pretty big thinkers of the time in the past um, that considered this as a very serious um, form of um, divination. And, and I think it works too, because you can tell a lot from a person's face, can't you? You can also tell, I think sometimes you can see an animals in people's face, I believe. And also the left-hand side and right-hand side of a face is significant. But we'll come to all that in a moment. Because this, this whole idea is of physiognomy, physiognomy um, has been around. It regained a lot of um, interest in the um, 18th and 19th centuries. Um, and some artists also took it on board too. To if you're going to draw a picture of somebody and you want to project a certain characteristics, you would use some of the arts as or the, these face reading arts to sort of make your characters look exactly what you want them to look like. So you're going to paint Judas, you're going to make him look mean, and so forth. And of course, the danger is it's also been misused a lot. Um, it was used um, the Nazis, for example paid a lot of attention to facial shape um, and shape of the head and the nose <laughs> um, when they were sort of deciding who was master race and who wasn't. So this was obviously a time when this was badly misused um, and these facial characteristics could decide who's going to go to the camps. Um, these facial characteristics were very dangerous when they were hijacked by twisted ideologies um, and the danger that can come from this with misuse. So from the scientific point of view, the scientists have said, oh, it's a load of cotton, it's a load of nonsense, throw it out, you know. And I can understand them saying that too, particularly after all that's happened with racial theory and things. Um, but it's maybe not quite as much nonsense to it as the scientists might say, because there have been some serious studies done in it. One that I thought was really fascinating and could be a kind of something that we should be thinking about for the future very much is um, artificial intelligence was trained to recognize face types and to use it to um, determine what a person's sexual orientation was and it gets it right so you know uh, well, <laughs> my Jane used to call her gay radar. She always knew if someone was gay or not, you know. Um, but, you know, isn't that a dangerous thing, you know? 
that if supposing it was decided that it was not a good thing for a person to be gay and next thing you know the um the, this facial recognition is is saying you know what what they are what their orientation is very dangerous isn't it and we're giving our facial information away all the time aren't we all the time everywhere we go there's cameras watching us it's worse than 1984 ever was they just had them in the telly sets then but now we've got them everywhere on every street corner and every shop and every place we go you know even on our phone, mobile phones we don't know what's going on there sometimes do we so a um, lot of dangers to that you know you could take a, a, a shot of someone's face and, and artificial intelligence can say quite a lot about that person there was an article going back in 2009 I can recall vaguely there was uh, I think it was 2009 in the New Scientist magazine and that also showed that there's some of these that certain characteristics of faces tend to appear in certain groups and they did a study of um, ice hockey teams and looked at all the faces and did the measurements of people in ice hockey teams and people in ice hockey teams had generally wider faces than normal they took the measurements across the cheekbones and but there was statistically significant they said I don't know the full details of this but it showed that these things do kind of work in the world so with that in mind let's have a think about this photograph that of Donald Trump you know the new one that's come up right um, and what does it tell us what does it tell us about him uh, and and things first thing it tells me actually is um, how a photograph can backfire how you can try to stitch someone up and it can go so badly wrong I think it's the most amazing photograph of, of centuries actually goodness knows one of the best photographs of all time I think because it was intended to destroy the man of course um, you know a prison photograph Ooh, I'm broken I'm broken no but it, it shows something quite different and I'm sure you could uh, perhaps help me to uh, see what you think about this and do make some comments if you've got any thoughts about what it shows um, and if you've studied um, any of these facial things uh, put your comments I'd love to hear what you have to say so there's two there's two sides to a face first of all the left and right hand side of a face right and this it, again going back to science there's the, and the, the idea that the brain is in two hemispheres uh, connected by a corpus callosum which is the uh, nerve center that connects the two sides of the brain and both sides of the brain kind of work differently one is rational one is intuitive basically and this is also reflected in this in, in our face as well on the left and right hand side of our face the left hand side of our face will show more the inner person it will show the intentions the emotions it will show the inner world you know it will show the inner world of a person and um, what does that, oops, I just clicked something wrong on my screen. I want to get my picture up in front of me of Donald Trump as I talk to you. Right, there we go. Now, I want to look, let's look at his face together, right? So looking at the left-hand side of his face, his left-hand side, you know. This is the inner man, the inner world. What does it tell us? What are we seeing in that man's inner world? I, I think in the left-hand side, I see... In both sides, this face is a face of absolute determination, isn't it? It's absolute determination. This is, I'm going to shake the system. I'm going to tear things down. Don't you dare do this to me. This is like somebody is about to pounce and about to get revenge, I think, is one of the main things that I see in the face. But I also see a certain sadness in that side of the face, in the left-hand side of his face, his left-hand side, you know? In the eyes, there's a certain um, sadness behind this determination. And in the right hand side of the face, this is the side of actions. This is the side of the willpower. This is the side of the rationality when it comes to the split brain idea. But it's also what we present to the world. It's our, it's our force we present to the world. So we see here absolute, complete and uh, unremitting um, willpower and determination here, don't we? see here a man that is determined to um, win. Uh, and that determination um, is very, very powerful in the, in this photograph, I think, in a photograph that was meant to destroy him. So I think it's a very interesting a picture just from, from the left and right hand views of the face and what it says. You know, what does it say to you? Do, you? do you see, if you divide it in two and you just look at one side of the face, what does it say? 
if you divide it in two and just look at the the other side of the face what does it say to you very different sort of qualities to the person that comes through there you can do this with anybody's face and it, it, it does actually reveal quite a lot of their secrets sometimes you know so also we can trump is interesting in that he also has um lots of things that would show quite a successful man actually his jawline um he has a strong jawline this shows often has been suggested this is success and particularly success in business ability um he has a kind of a chin i don't know if he has a dimple or not but that is supposed to be extremely lucky but he has that cleft sort of chin look to his face which is supposed to be um, very fortunate the person's supposed to be very lucky when they have that um, it also can show a very self-centered person which I think you you can't deny Trump is a very self-centered person he has a Roman nose associated with the Roman emperors it was considered in its time to be something that was um, a, a sign of leadership he has sharp lips this can show a person that's a good talker um, it can also show strong self-control in a person his eyes, um, if you look at the very inner middle part of the eye, the inner corners of the eyes, as it were, these are kind of quite important parts to look at in a person's face. This is what's called the canthus, that area there. And if it's very pointed and sharp, which it is with Trump's, um, this is kind of reflective of um, cats like eyes uh, and is considered to be somebody that you must not cross because this person can be very aggressive if they turn against you. A bit like a cat will suddenly lash out. Um, this shows a, a personality that can very much lash out. He generally has a square face, uh, Trump, most mainly square, which is an earth sign face, um, just like in the palms of the hand. When a hand is square, it's considered an earth face. This is healthy, it shows strength. Um, and again, it's a very much a sign of natural leadership, the square. Um, the square hand, square faces, often leaders and willpower. And his furrowed brow also shows determination and power. So, like I say, I see, I see in Trump here, you know, an interesting personality shining through here. I think it's kind of what we know. I don't know if you'd um, uh, comment and think anything different. You know, I mean, I've kind of been quite positive about what I'm saying here because um, I see quite a strong man here a very an egotistical man mind you but then which politician isn't and i think it's a man who whose face um he he, he does what he says it I, th I think there's overall honesty in his face actually i know a lot of people say oh my god no trump's not an honest man but he, I, I think he, he at least he always does what he says he's going to do in life doesn't he uh, and i feel that trump here is uh, it's an interesting photograph you know and what do you think about this is this something that um, is going to uh, become uh, something that's going to help change his campaign? They're selling his T-shirts, which I think is so hilarious, um, really. Uh, someone who can turn misfortune into good. Uh, I think it's incredible, really. Now, I'm, I'm going to say I'd make a prediction for you. And there was something that was coming to me. And I, this is one I'm going to add on to my list of predictions and, and something I feel today. You know, I, I feel... I've said I think Trump will win in 2024. But what is it that's going to turn it? You see, I might say these things and it's going to be very close, I think. And even me trying to make predictions of the future, and you might say, what's the point in doing it if it's not, it's not going to happen? But it, when a person makes a prediction of the future, it's not set in stone. The future is not set in stone. We kind of see the trends and it might change the weather might change the wind might change things might change to change things but my feeling is that trump will win certainly he'd win if it was all republicans voting and i think there's many floating voters who would still be strongly opposed to him um but do you know what i think is going to swing it my feeling is it's the black vote because you know, the, the Democrats think automatically that anybody that's of any other racial origin than um, white Caucasian um, are automatically going to vote Democrat. But I get the sense that the black community is thinking, hey, this Trump guy is quite a cool guy, actually. You know, he's standing up against the authorities that have oppressed us over the centuries. 
you know. So the so-called wokey sort of lefty sort of view, I don't think would appeal to most um, people from a black ethnic background. You know, I think if the black people I know, they're usually pretty, they, they like to see a person as being quite strong. They quite like a masculine figure, you know. Uh, and I think this is going to be one of the things that's going to swing it. The black vote is going to be the thing that's going to shock everybody when it comes to the elections in 2024. Okay, that's my thoughts for today. And if you're interested in developing your psychic abilities or, you know, think I've talked about face reading here, this is kind of a fairly superficial thing, but I can teach you a lot on the in-depth stuff. You can read my book, Psychic School which is out there on Amazon. If you want to learn a little bit more, some of the techniques I teach, there was also Psychic Workbook as well with Penguin Books. Um, but also I've got workshops online at the moment too, if you want. You can come and join me with my workshops that are starting soon for um, uh, spiritual development more than just psychic. It's about finding out who we are. Anyway, thanks again for joining me. See you soon. Bye for now. So do you like what I have to say? And do you like my work? Well, why don't you support my work? Have a look in the description below to go to my website, find out about psychic readings, find out about our Nadi readings with the Indian Nadi Oracle, buy my books and join my workshops online by Zoom. All there on the website psychics.co.uk.